Well, all right, everybody, we're here for another episode of Name That Quadrant. So what do we have? We had the trigonometric functions. And, you know, we want to know which quadrant satisfies the certain thing. You might have heard that all the students take the calculus. This is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Sure. <clears throat> so when they say all, oh, they're all positive in the first. I'm talking about the big three, the sine, the cosine, the tangents. The sine is positive in the second. I like to think sine is y, sine is y, so sine is positive in the top half, sine is negative in the bottom half. The cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. They say that because the tangent and the sine are negative over here because the sine's low, tangent's all right. Well, okay, but the cosine is x. The cosine is x, so the cosine's positive here. The cosine's negative there, and everything else is written in terms of sines and cosines, so then let's go and let's see. Oh, wait. So I'm over here. I'm looking at the sine is bigger than zero. The sine is y, so the sine is bigger than zero in this quadrant. All right, now the cotangent, the cotangent, do that in co-blue, no, that's cobra, okay, aha, okay, so the cotangent has the same sign as the tangent, because it's the reciprocal, so they necessarily have to have the same sign, and we are looking for and, okay, man, so the cosine, or the cotangent bigger than zero is the same way the sine is bigger than zero, sine over cosine, so the tangent is bigger than zero, here, because both coordinates are negative, and the cotangent is bigger than zero here, where all of them are. Oh no, that's expensive chalk. Oh, it's okay. And it made the cat run. Oh, Penelope, everything's fine. No, no reason for that big cocktail. Where do those overlap? Those overlap in quadrant one. Fun. They use Roman numerals because this stuff is really old. All right, so let's just go ahead and get rid of that so we can do the next one. Oh, Carl. Yeah, that's that. Now what? This one? No. Let's switch cameras and go over here. Okay. So what? We need the cosecant smaller than zero. The cosecant is the same as the sine, as far as the sine of the cosecant is the same as the sine, because the cosecant is one over the sine. All right. So it looks like we're doing this one in turquoise. So sine is negative. Sine is negative. Sine is negative. Not here. Sine is y. So sine is negative all down here. So where the sine is negative, the cosecant's negative. Now the cosine is negative. Is the cosine x or is the cosine y? I like to see the cosine is x. What's next? So if the cosine is x, the cosine needs to be negative. So we'll do this in, yeah, orange. So uh, cosine is negative over here. Where do they overlap? Looks like they overlap in quadrant three. So to me, I see this is gonna be quadrant three. Very nice. Now, let's go, let's get rid of this so that we can, mm -hmm. look at that middle. Oh yes, lovely middle. So, now, oh that's gone. Now we're looking to see where the tangent is bigger than zero. The tangent is that sine over that cosine. All right, fine. So for them to be bigger than zero, it, they need to both have the same sign. So they need to be both positive, which happens in quadrant one, because all the students are positive in quadrant one, and it's positive down here in quadrant three. Because to me, the sine is negative and the cosine is negative. Negative or negative is positive. So now, those are the two quadrants in question. Now we're looking for the secret. The secant is one over the cosine. The cosine, so they're going to have the same sign as the cosine and the secant. So the cosine is x or is the cosine y? The cosine is x. What was I thinking? I was thinking we could just like, you know, take some baby steps. Oh, I don't have enough chalk, but I will. Don't worry, I'll finish him. So where's the cosine negative? The cosine is negative when the x is negative. The x is negative over here. So where do they, where do they, where do they? Down here in quadrant three. 
I was kind of hoping it would quad in two, because then it'd be one, two, three. Ha <laughs> ha, look at me. What was I talking about when I was talking about baby steps? Mm. 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 There's a wet one. Yeah. Pretty easy to do. You just go like that and then just, yeah, just baby steps. <laughs>